Um, all right, so we have here the capability of creating several courses, and, and we have been able to post them uh, to the server. The server has posted them to the database, and they're indeed stored in the database here. Uh, so what we'd like to be able to do now is uh, to retrieve them, and, and once I come to this page, actually see the courses listed here. Right? Uh, so, so to do that, uh, we need to be able to, when we come to this first page, uh, the very first thing is to hit a service to retrieve all the courses for that, for this, all the sections for this particular course. Uh, so let's do that in the um, in the client side, in the con uh, components, in the section list component. The very thing, thing, the first thing that we should do is is use our service right to find all the sections for this particular course. And we have the course ID stored, right? That's one of the first things that we did is to store the course to, uh, here we have the load sections, right? We need, we need to load sections. All right, let's do it here. Uh, we have the course ID, uh, and, um, uh, and what we're going to do is that uh, we're going to uh, use the service. It'll be something like this dot uh, service. It'll be something like, you know, find all uh, sections or find sections, find sections for course and we'll pass in as argument the course ID and presumably uh, the service will respond with the sections I'm going to store them in a sections a local sections right which we don't have so let's uh, let's declare it here this will be uh, sections will be an array an empty array at first okay um, right, so we don't have these uh, this section uh, for courses. Let's implement that. Let's go to the service, and let's uh, add it right here under the URL. And it takes us argument the course ID. Uh, so it's going to use the same exact URL, but in this case, it's going to do a get instead of a post. If we're not creating a new section; we're retrieving uh, sections for that particular course. Uh, so this will uh, return uh, fetch. Uh, this will be this dot section URL. We're going to replace the um, course ID uh, with the course ID. And it's a get, right? So I don't really have to do anything else. Uh, what, I want, what, what I might want to do first is just parse out from the response and convert it from a JSON object to a JSON object. So this will be uh, then, here'll be the response. And I'll return the response.json. OK? All right. Uh, so notice that if we come in here and we do a query, right? notice that the get actually went out to the server, but the server doesn't know what to do with that get. There's nothing mapped to that. Right? Uh, so let's go on to the server to actually implement this. So if we go to the, uh, to, to the server side, uh, we are still in the, let's see, where are we? We are in the uh, service. Uh, we need to create an endpoint, right? We're going we're gonna, to, we're gonna somebody who, who can respond to a get request to the same exact URL, right, to the same exact URL, but it's a get, not a post. And this is going to be a find uh, um, section, sections for course. I like to keep these names the same, these names and these names the same, so I can keep it straight in my head. They don't need to be the same, uh, but it's a good practice so that you know which one maps to what. Right? Uh, if this were a real framework, right, the framework would validate this for you, okay? or it would even generate this for you. Okay? Once you want to create a service, it would create the entire tooling for, of this whole thing all the way through. Okay? Uh, but indeed, it's not a it's not a framework, right? We we're 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 creating this all on our own. Uh, so function uh, find uh, will will parse out will parse out the course from here. So this will be course ID. It will be from the request the parameters, and the parameters is course ID. Uh, and we would use section model to actually find sections for a course, which doesn't exist. Uh, we're going to pass in course ID. And presumably, this is going to come back with the sections. We, 
which we're just going to send back as a JSON object. And this will be an array of sorts, right? And we're just going to send it back as a response, as a JSON array. Uh, so the data model doesn't have this, right? We, we need to actually implement it, which will be a find. Find all the sections whose course ID matches the course ID that I'm passing you. Make sense? In this case, we only have sections for that one course. Uh, so let's, uh, uh, let's, uh, let's implement that. Let's go to the section model. Uh, and let's implement a function, find sections for course. So it takes as, in as argument a course ID. So this will return a section model. I want to do a find. And notice that find always returns an array, which is OK. That we, all, we do want to return an array. But we want to re return all the sections, only the ones whose course ID matches the course ID that I'm passing as an argument. Right? Uh, and we need to expose this, export it. OK? All right, um, all right so let's see. Let's, see, let's uh, restart the server. Uh, and over here, let's uh, refresh. Uh, and notice that now the section is not complaining. Right? It, uh, it's, uh, uh, the get didn't complain. And this is what we're getting from the zero. <laughs> really? Uh, why would it be zero? Is the query correct? Course 5 section. Uh, let's step through it on the, on the server side. It uh, looks from the client's point of view, it looks correct. Right, from the side, because that is a URL, that is the correct URL. That, that is where the client ends, right, of sending that get request. Uh, let's, uh, let's, let's go up back to the server, and uh, let's, uh, let's this, this, is as, this is as deep as the server goes, right? This is where the server ends, right, you know, going out to the database. Uh, so let's, let's verify that we're getting here, like, the course ID, correct course ID. Um, and uh, I forget, did I start it in debug mode? I forget. I think so. All right, so we're there, and course ID is undefined. Okay, so, all right, so it's certainly this is wrong. Uh, let's, uh, uh, this, it must be up, you know, up higher, uh, an upstream, right? It must be in, somewhere in the service. So let's go back to the service. Let's go this, let's, let's let, let this through. Uh, so let's go back to the service. So somewhere we, we parsed out something wrong. Uh, so here's the app. So we're getting here. Oops. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I'm going to hit it again. Refresh. OK, so we're in the service. And uh, let's step through this once. And course ID is undefined. OK. Course ID. So that's spelled right. Course ID, that's spelled right. Find sections for course. Param, oh, maybe this is params. Restart. Try it again. Uh, step one through. OK, now it's five, right? So that looks right. Uh, and, uh, and this comes back uh, from, to the client as the array of three sections, right? And, um, and, and this was just a learning opportunity that I, I exploited. Uh, so now that I have the array on the client side, I just need to render it somehow, right? And, uh, and that's, that's easy. Uh, we, can, um, we can back to the section list component. Uh, we already have, we already we already bound this on the, on the sections array over here. Uh, so we just need to iterate over it in our HTML. In our HTML, at the bottom here, we could, we could have a, a, a list right, that uh, is of type um, uh, list group. And we can use a template to iterate over this. Right? We can say uh, class uh, list group. Item, and here we can display the um, uh, the course. I mean the section, right? Section uh, name, and uh, and this will be the ng repeat or the ng four 
uh, of iterating over all the sections of the sections array. All right, so there they are, right? So there are our four, three sections that we had created earlier, uh, plus perhaps the number of seats that we could display here as well. There they are, right? Have, we have number of seats. Uh, there, so if, if, this is a, if this is a student, uh, ideally they would be able to perhaps have a, an enrollment button there, right? That uh, I click on, an, on the enroll button, right? And that, and that um, depending on the number of seats, maybe the enrollment button disappears or you know, shows or doesn't show, okay? Um, you could have a, a, a button here that says um, uh, enroll. And, um, and that enrollment button, uh, you can show it or not show it depending. Okay. All right. So let's uh, let's uh, take a, take a look at uh, at enrolling next. Right. How would we implement that? 